welcome back to my youtube channel i'm kinal mamuki and for those who don't know me if you are new to my channel welcome and thanks for joining the beautiful team if you are a returning subscriber welcome back and thanks for continuing to support the companions family if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel we are on road to 1k 1k so guys we just passed 500 subscribers thank you so much so please, please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel so that we can celebrate the way when we reach 1k subscribers. So as you can see today on a video, I'm doing a makeup tutorial showing you the products that I use that cost less than 100 friends. So I'm going to show you all the products that I'm going to use to do this look. And hopefully you like it and you'll be able to get the cheaper products so yeah and then each and every product I'm, I'm not I'm going for each and every product I'm going to name it price so I'll take them down because some of them necessarily do it already and yeah so let's see in the video thank you so much Ciao. Okay, the first product that we are going to use is this one is Smart Concealer. I bought it for tricks and it was 42 rand. But I as I said I'm going to put all the prices, I'll write every, 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 all the prices down here as I'm showing the product. So I've already shaved my eyebrows I used a mascara because I can't find my eyebrow pencil normally eyebrow pencil cost 5 rands and then if you go to the tricks maybe you have an eyebrow pencil you have essence and other brands eyebrow pencils normally they cost from 15 rands to 30 rands so it's still under 100 rands so now I'm going to apply my concealer. I always try to be gentle when applying a concealer and use a flat brush so that the brush doesn't disturb the eyebrows. So as you can see, I'm taking it bit by bit slowly and yeah, you don't want to make a mistake when shaping your eyebrows. Remember you are fixing the mistakes that are already there. So try to be patient and apply it slow and when you are done applying you can pull it down so that it doesn't make a crease there so yeah I used the ma mascara to comb my eyebrows because I wanted to make sure that they are full they are filled with the space and yeah the top part of my eyebrows I use my foundation which is the same foundation that i use on my face because i don't want to have that harsh light line on top because at least under the eyebrows I, i'm still going to use the concealer for the base as as the base of the eyeshadows so yeah so i use the same concealer this much one that i showed you guys and blended in with a blender I got blenders from small strip so as I said I'll check the price I didn't wash my brushes guys as you can see but it's okay so I have to choose a fluffy brush because I want my eyeshadow to be soft smooth and yeah so that I can be able to blend it easily I got this palette from small street if not China City and it was only 30 rands the colors in this palette are given guys like they are those colors they long hurry deeper visible really if you use a lot of it then it will appear a little deep so I had to use orange because I don't have light brown and orange it's kind of close to the skin tone if you 
blend it thoroughly. So the brush had liters. I don't know how, but it had liters. So I had to change the brush and use another one. So as I said, I applied orange and blended it in so that it can look closely like my skin color. Okay, the glitters are still there, but not that much. The second color that I used is deep brown, which is more close to purple, but it's brown and I'm going to use it only on the full eye. I'm not doing any cut crease today. So, yeah. You have to make sure that your eyeshadow is blended thoroughly guys so that it doesn't have bumps or spaces during the day so the glue that i'm using is also from small street i always use it and the lashes that i'm using are from mr price it's my first time buying them wow guys i didn't know that the lashes from mr price comes with a glue so they gave me a glue, or they came with a glue, it's a clear glue, so it's not going to give me problems, because even the one that I use from small strip, it's, it dries clear, so that's the kind of glue that I like, because applying, putting on eyelashes, it's a problem for me, so imagine if I have glue that is going to be visible, my eye will just be dirty. So I had to feed the lashes and see if I have to cut them or not. And then I realized that no, it's the right fit. So I don't have to. I'm applying it glue and I'll leave my lashes for some moment. Few minutes maybe if not seconds. And then in the meantime, I'm going to apply mascara to stretch my eyelashes. The mascara I got it from Mr. Price too. Oh, I, I have to be careful when applying things to my eyes. <laughs> my eyes are so sensitive, so I give all my attention, like a concentrator, fully so. So yeah, I'm going to stick on the lashes. I don't know how many minutes or seconds should I wait, so... Okay, wow, this lashes feels comfortable. It's my first time applying these lashes. I always use Sago Small Street, which they are also good and they are affordable. So, yeah, this one's cost 69 rand and they include an invisible clear glue. Wow, guys, they look nice. Like, I don't wanna lie, they look so beautiful. Okay, and then from here, hey, the lashes always give me problems. Okay, from the lashes, now I'm going to go in with a Fit Me foundation. It's in the shade 358, which is latte, and this costs around 135. I'm not sure because I saw that price on internet, but I bought this with 57 rents last year, um, Black Friday, 
each and every year they put them on sale and that's when i buy them so if you buy two got black friday they'll last you for the whole year that's how this lasts me for almost a year because i don't use i don't use makeup every now and then so if you buy it if you buy two of them if we're not like you use makeup a lot you can buy two guys and then two will cost you around 110 which is still around 100 friends that we are talking about so yeah but if you go in a normal price it's 135 so i'm going to apply it on my skin i've already applied a serum i use gentle magic serum to protect my skin you can try primer I tried primer and most of them didn't meet so I tried it and I felt like my skin is dry which I don't know I don't like my skin being dry I feel like it's not hydrated in a way so like I have a feeling I don't know it's it's not good it's gonna crack or something so I stopped using that I stopped using that mask mm. <laughs> what is it what's this primer I stopped using primer but you can use it and the affordable one is from Mr. Price which is around 60 rands, 70 rands or you can get the baby soft something Yago, yeah Maybelline yeah it's yeah Maybelline so you can get it from Clicks or Discam most people use it so yeah I highlighted using the same Yo. <laughs> I used the same concealer and then yeah there i was doing the touch-ups okay i used a different beauty blender to put on a concealer because the first one that i used had foundation so it was gonna be a bit dark so i used this palette i got it from mr price it was 70 rands and it's a contour palette which has highlighters so right now i'm going to contour my nose <coughs> oh sorry yeah i'm contouring my nose i've been using this contour palette from last year and to be honest i like it i don't wanna lie i i, I can't complain about it I'm using another beauty blender to contour then I'll use the same contour palette to highlight as I said it has highlighters so I'm going to highlight my face I'm used to using my finger instead of a brush I don't know why but yeah I feel like it's convenient <laughs> so I use it then I'm still going to use the contour palette for contouring my face. Since I'm dark, I use the darker one, the darker shade. And this palette is for dark people. So, yeah, it's written dark. Mo, 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 ho, jim. So, yeah. And still, I use the darker shade. So, I'll contour my face. Then go to blush. The blush that I'm... The blush palette that I'm using, it's from Mr. Price too. It's the same price as the contour palette. And with it too, I'm still using the darker color. I don't know, guys. Like, I don't see myself as that beautiful, dark-skinned girl. So if something turns to my face, they have to be dark. Because I don't want to find myself... I can't normally when people are applying makeup in the wrong way, we always say, yo, ugar stop. So even with me too, if I try colors that are bright, I feel like no man, mm -mm, this is not my shade. And I'll go for dark always. So yeah, make sure that you are blending it in so that those are the harsh lines. I can't look like it's a and 
Greg, if you look at no man, I have linear contour, I have linear blush, can I linear highlighter? At least the complement honey, the way blended in in the right way. So the setting spray that I'm using is from Mr. Price and it also cost around 70 rands, 60 rands. So I use the same palette, the contour one, to highlight my face and I'm used to applying highlighter after using a setting spray so yeah, I don't know, maybe it pops more beautifully. Please be soft with highlighter because wow. It will appear in a way that you don't want. So now I'm going to my lips. I'm using this lip gloss from Clix. I'll take its name. so beautiful okay I use the wipes normally to erase the eyeliner if I applied it so today I didn't because it's always hard to remove um, the, the eyeliner with my face cloth in a little soap so always I use this wipes to remove it but now I'm just removing the excess makeup and concealer that was on my hand thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed please don't forget to subscribe like and comment